Welcome everyone. Welcome back to another uh, sports and spirituality blog with your girl Nita Flying High. Uh, today, uh, I have come across uh, some more information with uh, Indiviso, of course, you know, Indiviso has been in the headlines. And so they now appointed Mar Marla Messing, Messing, Missing, I guess Missing, you would say. Um, and she has... Uh, you know, this date has, uh, we'll go into it as we get right into it. It has Gematria behind it, but also some things that kind of like, uh, is going to help, I guess, just for, continue to remind us about, you know, how they use the media to, uh, on certain days and certain, um, they use certain people, certain days to put out a ritual, uh, and this is what they do ritualistically. And um, it's every single day. And um, of course, since I follow NWSO, uh, I seen that there was one with Marla Messing and why they uh, appointed her with 74 days left in a year. And so uh, I wanted to share this with you. Uh, so shout out to Zach. What if, like I said, uh, I read Zach H H Hubbard's book, Number Games. Uh, nine, number of games 9-11 to coronavirus. It's a 365 page book. Um, you can check out his page on Gematria Effect uh, News, Gematria Effect Sports. Um, and thank you, Zach. Like I said, that's really helped me just awaken more to the things that go on. Um, even something you people say women's football is not um, is not popular, but they still do rituals and spells. Uh, this is the realm. This is their reality that we live in, uh, in, a, in a way that they have a lot of control over the masses. And Gematria is just one aspect that they, is what they use uh, when it comes to these headlines. And this wasn't the headlines, of course, it's the headline I created. But this was on the NWSO website, uh, National Women's Soccer League appoints sports executive Marla Messi, um, CEO. But she, with 74, as you can see, October 18, 2020, uh, October 18th. Uh, is the 291st day and it has 74 days remaining at the end of the year and also we're in the time of Libra Libra season as you know got the Libra as balance justice uh, you know in the so we talked about Paul Riley and why there was a ritual with them so they're ushering in their their solutions their messiahs who they think will be able to handle the chaos and create order out of it right because they feel they're playing gods so uh remember if if you've what if you've uh watched some of the other videos you'll know that simple english gematria is abc is as easy as abc one two three as zach says in his book um Gemat, simple english gematria is abc as you can see right here a is one two b is two C is three and so on all the way to Z is 26. And this is the alphabetical order in, um, in, in the, not in reverse, I guess, just sim simple. <laughs> and so, uh, these is the founts, the foundations of some of the gematria. It's really the foundation of it, but 74 is an important number because, um, of all the numbers and all the me all the words that equal 74. And, um, Remember, the Roman Catholic Church uh, is right now the current moment who is who controls the present. Who so they control the past based upon our the books and the history that they allow us to know about, and some things they don't tell us about. Therefore, we're in uh, in in a way of, of an unknown, and then they're tr attempting to control the future um, with coronavirus, with um, with everything that they have put out here for us to react to as the people, right? <clears throat> and they're trying to play God, I, and, and that's pretty much it. They, they want to play God, and they want us to submit to their God, and their God is, you know, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, and in George Orwell's book, um, that's their God. That's the God that they worship, uh, and they want us to worship that God as well, and that that is unacceptable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, the Roman Catholic Church, as you know, all roads lead to Rome. You know, these are phrases that we've heard um, over and over and over embedded in our subconscious, in our psyche. Um, and they continue to remind us through the rituals and spells that they do. 
and it's even in women's football. Um, so all the words, occult 74, Jewish 74, holiday, holy day, they make us worship their holy days. Parables, messiahs, cross, Jesus, all equal to 74 in the simple English gematria. Um, these are all... It's 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 a it's an insult to to God. It is an insult to God because it is you know it. We have been taught about God in 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 the way that they have wanted us to learn about God, and the way we learn about God is is in our own individual way. No one can tell us how we can find our God, and um, they want us to worship the God that doesn't allow that, and and that's that's not right you know that's not right the way i find my god is going to be different than how you come across your god and um and, and it's the reality that we're in at the moment based upon the war that we're facing uh, uh and just this is not it's nothing new they say it's nothing new under the sun this um uh, has been going on for how long how, you know for how long eons and eons the battle of good and evil and good and bad and and the, the balancing of the scales because we're in Libra season. We're about to be finishing up Libra season. So a lot of things are coming. And we just had a full moon in Aries, the god of war. Uh, so Mars being the god of war, Aries is that first cardinal sign. Um, the spark, you know what I'm saying? Um, as you see, it says Chicago. Like I said, once again, the October 18th date, um, 2020. Chicago is 35. This is reverse full full of a gematra meaning this is the numerology in reverse this is the new numerology in reverse so as you see z is one uh all the way to uh r is nine the numerology one through nine and then 11 22 33 or 11 and 22 master numbers also catholic is 35 remember the catholic church the roman catholic church all things lead to rome so every ritual most of the rituals that that you find on my page of course they're going to tie back to rome to the church to the religions um because this is what they do and, and then once you catch on like zach said in his book you're going to be able to see it and that's what i was able to see and it was um you know very eye-opening that you know they have their hand and then a lot of things they have their hand in everything you know what i'm saying <laughs> and so um we have to you know, the more we can tell people about it um you would say it's like this is a good thing because of um everything that's going on in NWSL, right? And then also, you know, I, I looked as course back to the date, October 18, 2021, has the 69 numerology date. So 10 plus 18 plus 20 plus 21 equals 69. And so that's false flag as well. False flag. Uh, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I was just like, no, I'm like, no, something shady, something shady, of course, because with all the chaos that's going on in NWSL, they have to provide some solutions, right? They knew Paul Riley in the result committee. They knew Paul Riley was a weirdo or what he done, what he done. And and just like anything else, and, and even a bigger scan, like when we talk about the quote unquote, the, you know, I'm not into the presidential stuff, but we know oh, the guy got, um, was what? Every president is selected, right? You get selected to be, um, president or you get selected to be in these positions based upon something you some what what made you get selected something made you get selected either your date your family bloodline you know what i'm saying you have some history and it's really not about your race like your color of your skin it's more about the um your bloodline the spiritual aspects behind it and so and if you're willing to give up uh, people that you quote unquote say you love or, you know, they have no, most of the time these people don't have, have any souls, but hey. All right. But anyways, a false flag equals 69. So this is again, A is one, two, B is two, C is three. So uh, there's four, there's four uh, basic ciphers that teaches us about this one, uh, the simple English gematria, where A is one, B is two, C is three, and then the reverse or 26, I'm sorry, in the reverse, alphabetic order in reverse, okay, or 26 is 1, 26, where Z is 1, Y is 2, C is, C, you know what I'm saying, in reverse, alphabetic order in reverse, and then we have the numerology, in, in, in like, and uh, not and not we have the numerology in like its correct order, and then we have the numerology in reverse, and there's also more ciphers that are outside the four base ciphers that, of course, that teaches us to start to study. 
But what is a false flag, y'all? So on Wiki, it's a false flag is an operation in an act committed with the intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility and pinning blame on another party. This term false flag originates in the 16th century as purely figurative expressions to mean a deliberate misrepresentation of someone's affiliations or motive. So like you said, like I was like, she's being used to like, hey, uh, false flag, everything's under control, in the BSL, you know, we got you, we got our savior, we got, we got the Messiah, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got, we got the um, Jesus for you. You know, we got, it's okay. We got, you know what I'm saying? So everyone's going to be all, oh, you know, we, we're saved after all the chaos, right? So we'll just forget about everything that's happening, right? No, 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 not Anita. I'm not going to, no. We're going to remember. There's plenty of Paul Riley's out there because, I mean, this is the reality that we happen to be living in. A lot of people um, um, are quiet about things about the Paul, like a lot of people, there's more people that probably knew about Paul Riley that, um, that we know, that we probably know, don't know about. And it's, there's a lot of Paul Riley's, like how many people probably knew about Jeffrey Epstein? A lot of people probably knew about Jeffrey Epstein. And, uh, there's many more, you know what I'm saying? There's many, many more. And, uh, there will be more exposed as, um, time goes on, as we, the people, want more answers and we do our own research and we do our own digging um if hopefully we find the evidence isn't buried some people get killed before they get to release the evidence some people you know it's fucked up this is the reality they they want the hidden they want the truth hidden but the truth will always come to light that's just the order of things you know what i mean they can try to hide it and they can make us believe that ignorance is strength but those that are willing to um, do their own research and those that are willing to study those that have done it and came before them. The truth is here for us to take in and then what are you going to do with the truth that you are finding? Are you going to um, talk about it? I know I am because this is what I'm doing. Uh, there's really no need to be uh, afraid of speaking the truth because it has a foundation. Lies, on the other hand, they don't. But as you know, like I said, um, this date, October 18th, when this news came out, um, has the date numerology of 69, um, also, uh, Catholic Church has 69 gematria, so, uh, this is the numerology and gematria in, in, in order, so, like I said, um, even if you don't watch American, uh, Soccer League, whatever you are tuning into, it has some gematria in it, um, because, um, this is what they do. They code their messages and they code their symbolisms into everything that they do. They want you to remember them. They, it's like they, they want to leave their footprints in the sand, as we would say. They want to le make you remember them. And yeah, they'll for sure go down in history, but as, you know, evil, evil beings that have misled the masses, uh, I guess, to hell. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so that's really what I wanted to share with you all. Um, I really hope that, um, hope that maybe whatever you're, uh, watching or tuning into you, you see if you can find some gematria in it and also, uh, just share with your friends and just be aware as this is, uh, I said, you know, gematria is just one tool to help many people awaken. It's just one tool. There's many tools out here for us to awaken to the truth, our truths. And, um, gematria is just one tool. And I enjoy it because I guess I learned, I, I enjoy it because um, I enjoy sports and I, I want to know the truth and what they're trying, what they're attempting to do. And it really helps me um, more just, you know, I guess stay on top of the game and stay on, stay ready for, for what they have what they have planned for us, you know, they have a lot of things planned for us. Like, did you, did you think, did you, did you expect COVID-19 to do this to us? Um, you know what I'm saying? Did, did you expect that? I didn't expect any of this to happen in a way. I mean, um, yeah, many people, if you know me, if you haven't, is if, if this is the first time you're watching me, um, you should watch some of my interviews. I have my, my stance on COVID-19, um, you know, is, uh, it's not, I guess, of the majority. But anyways, I'm, it's, we're not here to fight each other. We're here to just remind each other there are people <clears throat> and um, there's entities, seen and unseen, that are here to uh, keep us stuck in a, a state of infancy. The church, Roman Catholic Church, at the moment, at the moment, because of, the, because of them 
being in control of the past, um, they are in control of the present and the future if we don't wake up, right? And uh, they'll do everything they can to keep us um, in a ignorance of state of mind. And we they will make us think that us speaking out for our freedom is slavery. And war is what they think is peace. Remember, there's no profit in a cure. You know, war is a big generation of money for them. So other countries are in war because it's a it's it's a profit, um, especially in America. Um, freedom is slavery to them. Ignorance is strength. So make sure you know thyself. Make sure you know that your strength is always within you. Your freedom is within you. you. You know, your peace is within you. And yes, we have to be at war because they're at war with us, not with each other, but at war with the entities and the beings that want to keep us stuck, like I said, and divided. And um, like I said, Gematria can really help us and others um, kind of see where all this uh, division is coming from, from people that want us to continue to fight each other. They don't want us to come together. And at the end of the day, it won't work because uh, it's inevitable for us to wake up. It's inevitable for us to speak for our, our truths and our, and our, and our beliefs and our, and it's inevitable for us to, to know ourselves and to find a God in our own way. You know, my, in, my spirituality is my individuality and how I go about being an individual is my uh, divine right as a you know a divine being, and um, I won't allow anyone uh, outside myself to ever dictate that, and uh, you shouldn't either. And together we're going to help each other remember that, sharpen each other's uh, swords, and continue to fight this fight that you know will never end. You know this is the cycle, but uh, yeah. I thank you all for tuning in to another uh, Sports and Spirituality blog with your girl, Nita Flying High. And I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.